chopped off the plate. Fielded by Abreu. Ah. Interference on the pitcher Enoa. Unbelievable. He got in the way of the runner. Now here comes Robin Ventura. And uh, Torres has been awarded first base. I don't see how that's possible. You know, and never was in the baseline. Yeah. I'm sure, that's what Robin is talking about. Torres ran into it. Take another look. You know, he's going to go over and cover first like he should. Well, that's that's, that's a terrible that's, call. That's ticky tack. I mean, it's like Torres went out of his way to run into Eno. Well, maybe he knows the rules and he know it doesn't. That scored an E1. Yeah, it is. I mean, th there's a box there you're supposed to be running in. So how do you get awarded for running into a position player when you're out of the baseline? So Vic Carapaza, the first base umpire, I think he got this wrong. You can see Torres go out of his way to run into him. Yeah, you can see Robin saying on this side of the baseline he ran into him. The umpires, I think they're going to change this because it's so blatantly a wrong call. If he reaches first, it's going to be on an E1 on the interference. Bill Welke, the crew chief, doing a lot of talking. Seem like they changed their mind. I don't know. Torres said they haven't told him to get off first yet. And this is very animated for Ventura. <laughs> now here's my point. Umpires rarely, unless it's a review, a reviewable play where they can be overturned or changed. Very rarely do they change things on the field when an umpire has made a call. He's not exactly going Billy Martin on these guys. Well, he might get fired up if they don't change this. So essentially, if they don't change this, it doesn't look like they're going to. They had rewarded a base runner for running out of the baseline. Wow. So that's an E1. Torres reaches and moving to third is Gardner. 